More Seeds of Hope, Stories for Lent. Today's story seed is, Hello Darkness. From the Gospel of John, chapter nine, verses two and three. Rabbi, who sinned? this man or his parents, that he was born blind. Jesus answered, neither he nor his parents sinned. It is so that the works of God might be made visible through him. Listen to today's story seed. Sanford Greenberg went blind in college. A misdiagnosed case of glaucoma took away his sight, and he thought, at least at first, his life. He dropped out of Columbia University, went home to his parents, and fell into a depression. Art Garfunkel, who was later to go on and become a megastar in the Simon and Garfunkel band, came to the rescue. Garfunkel had been Greenberg's roommate in college, and Garfunkel convinced Greenberg to come back to school. From then on, Garfunkel got him to class, read to him, and generally helped him to succeed in college. Greenberg recently released a memoir entitled, Hello Darkness, My Old Friend. Darkness was the name Garfunkel referred to himself as he helped Greenberg. Garfunkel would say, Darkness is going to read to you today. Greenberg explained it. This was Garfunkel's way of voicing solidarity because he knew he was a voice in Greenberg's darkness. There was a time when it seemed Garfunkel abandoned Greenberg. He left him at Grand Central Station in New York City to fend for himself. Greenberg tripped, stumbled, cut, bruised, and humiliated himself. But eventually, he found his train and got back to Columbia University. When he was finally back on campus, he bumped into someone. It was Garfunkel. Garfunkel had never left his side. He was there the whole time looking out for his friend, but not assisting him. Greenberg said, Garfunkel knew it was only if I could prove to myself that I could do it, that I would have real independence. And it worked, because after that, I felt I could do anything. Greenberg not only finished his undergraduate degree, he went on to graduate school, eventually earned his doctorate degree from Harvard. He became an inventor, an entrepreneur, and the chairman of the board of governors of the John Hopkins University's Wilmer Eye Institute. He also helped fund the first album Simon and Garfunkel released. One of the songs on the album was, you guessed it, The Sounds of Silence, which begins, Hello Darkness, My Old Friend. Paul Simon wrote the song, but that lyric came from Garfunkel and Greenberg's experience. Greenberg, a Jew, considers himself both religious and very spiritual. He said in an interview with the Times of Israel, for me, being religious means you must wonder at the blessings all around us. We must model God's creation. Otherwise, we miss the magic of daily living. As you listen to this story, do you wonder what Sanford Greenberg's life would have been like had he not gone blind? Would he have been so successful? And how about our Garfunkel, 
Would he have had the same career if he hadn't had the experience of helping his friend? That very first hit for Simon and Garfunkel was The Sounds of Silence. Would the song ever have been written if Greenberg hadn't gone blind? When we look at our lives, sometimes it seems that we've gotten the short end of the stick, that life is unfair. We may not go blind, but Hardship affects every one of us, and some of us do go blind. Perhaps each of us is just like the blind man in the scripture today, that the disciples ask, did he sin or his parents sin, that he was made blind? Jesus said, it was neither him nor his parents. It is so that the works of God might be made visible through him. As we pass the halfway mark in Lent, each of us has a chance to do our share to make the works of God visible in our life. Whatever our circumstances, there is something possible for us that will please God. You may not know what it is, but spend some time in prayer with the sounds of silence and close your eyes and greet darkness, your old friend. Now, let's take 30 seconds to water the seed. What challenge have you faced that has made you stronger? If you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And to become a closer part of the Heart to Heart community, go to our website, htoh.us, and subscribe to receive regular inspirational videos delivered right to your inbox.